Hey, what's up? So in this video, I want to show you guys a uninstaller for Windows called uninstaller without the L and E at the end. And according to the maker of this software, this is the best uninstaller for Windows. They have done a comparison. They have done a benchmark. So let's take a look at them. All right, let's go and see the comparison. So until now, I have been using this uninstaller called bulk crap uninstaller. This is a free and open source uninstaller. But I think now I may have to switch to this uninstaller because these comparisons and benchmarks are actually convincing. And I have been actually using this uninstaller for about a week now and it's pretty good actually so uninstaller has everything like batch uninstall single view listing portable dark mode even the size is the smallest all right six megabyte only and actually the bulk crap uninstaller also supports the bulk uninstallation but according to them actually i have also tested this this is true bulk crap uninstaller actually fails to properly do a batch uninstallation like uh, you have to actually go through every step of uninstallation like you have to click on next 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 and everything but that isn't the case with the uninstaller all right so that's that now let's take a look at the benchmark uh, here we have the benchmark actually so after uninstalling the software uh, they have tested with the different softwares like AIMP, uh, Firefox, KMP Player, Internet Download Manager, and other uh, multiple softwares. And uh, according to them, this uninstaller leaves the least leftovers, like the minimum leftovers. And if you compare this benchmark with other uninstallers, they leave huge amount of leftovers like uh, you can see here for example uh, bulk crap uninstaller this is the one that i'm using right now it leaves 411 leftovers even after uninstalling all these softwares but uninstaller only leaves 26 which is i mean huge gap so you can see there are some really popular softwares here like iobit uninstaller revo uninstaller yeah that's that now it's time to test this out and i'm actually going to test this out in virtual machine because there is a feature which uh, actually requires a restart after installing a software so i won't be able to record anything but trust me i have this thing installed on my main machine here all right just because you need to restart a system after uninstalling the software i have to use the vm uh, so you can actually see what's happening all right so now let's open the uninstaller and let's talk about the pros and cons the first thing that i notice is that this thing loads really slow compared to other softwares every time you open this program it's going to analyze and scan for all the programs that you have installed i think it doesn't have like some kind of uh, a caching system so it would launch faster next time yeah it's kind of slow every time you launch it all right because it has to scan every time you launch it <laughs> okay so now this is the interface of this software actually pretty clean it has the dark mode and uh, here we can see list of uh, installed softwares we also have filters by default it won't show you the uh, apps by microsoft so if you untick that you can see all the system apps now if you right click on any of these softwares that you want to uninstall or there is this thing called show data you can click on that it will actually show you all the data related to that program it's registries folders location files and everything so you can get more info about that software before actually uninstalling it really cool right you can also open the file location where it's installed you can also multi-select uh, you just have to click on uh, the software that you want to uninstall and then click on another one and it, it will actually select but i think it would be better if it had like checkbox selection so you won't accidentally uninstall the software that you don't want to uninstall now let's uninstall the software let's say i don't want the mozilla firefox anymore i'm gonna select that software i can right click and uninstall or there is a uh, option here called uninstall at the bottom all right so i'm gonna right click uninstall and in next page it will show you all the data and everything now we need to click on start uninstallation then it will give you a warning that you want to uninstall it so yes 
we want to uninstall it so now you can see this software actually automatically uninstalls the program and we don't have to go through the manual steps any manual steps like you know usually almost all the uninstallers programs what they do is like they launch the uninstaller of that program any program that you are trying to uninstall and then you have to actually manually go through that step but that isn't the case with the uninstaller but there is a downside it is kind of slow maybe because it is trying to do a better cleaning as you saw in the benchmark it actually cleans the leftovers better than the other uh, uninstall softwares and you can see it will actually uh, automatically restart the system once you uninstall the software for better cleaning you know all the registries and leftovers files related to that software so it will actually restart the system and then do the cleaning and forgive me i had a software update <laughs> i should have done the update before uninstalling the program but it's okay and you can see here when you restart it is actually doing something in the background so uh, it says please wait this can take a few minutes so basically it is doing a deep clean okay of those registries and leftovers so i have never seen a uninstaller like this maybe it is the best uninstaller for windows it does really good deep cleaning of leftovers and registry entries and you can see firefox is completely gone and just for a little info we're gonna go into the installed programs section and try to find a firefox folder i don't see a firefox folder it actually works really well <laughs> i have used many uninstallers but i have never seen this powerful uninstaller i have noticed that other uninstallers will at least leave something uh, behind like the programs folder or some files but it looks like it does pretty good job it completely removes the programs from the system now if you don't want to restart your system every time you uninstall the software you can actually turn that off by going into the settings and then by unticking this option called recommend to automatically restart the computer after software has been uninstalled actually leaving this on is better if you really want to completely remove the program and once you like untick this option it will give you a warning saying that not restarting the computer after uninstalling software can reduce the effectiveness of uninstalling software so it is actually recommended to you know just keep this option turned on so basically out of the box everything is just fine in this uninstaller you don't have to mess with any settings it will create a system restore point just in case if anything goes wrong while uninstalling the program you can restore your system back to normal there is one more thing that i want to show you guys uh, that is called monitor so if you select this monitor option now what's going to happen is it's going to monitor the software that you're installing so basically now let's reinstall the firefox now it will have more information about the software that is being installed and it might be able to completely completely remove all the registries and leftovers if you install the softwares this way you can see it automatically detected the software so you know most of the uninstalled softwares will have this kind of uh, uninstallation method it will open the uninstaller of that program and then we have to go through the steps manually like click next 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 but that isn't the case with the uninstaller which is pretty cool when you want to batch uninstall programs actually let's do it i'm gonna uninstall two of these programs mozilla firefox and vlc for now it only shows that we are uninstalling the mozilla firefox maybe after uninstalling this it will uninstall the vlc too let's let's actually try this all right you can see no manual steps it just does it automatically and yeah uh, it will actually <laughs> uninstall the other software that we you have uh, selected like i selected the vlc so it is actually going to show you the name of the software and its directory again you don't have to do anything once you click on uninstall it will automatically do rest of the job no manual steps required uh, and i think i forgot to mention <laughs> that this uninstaller is completely free 
to use. No pricing, no nothing. Sadly, it isn't a open source program, but it is a freeware. So it's completely free to use. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.